All right, we're going to unbox the Vizio D-Series 40-inch TV. And i got a little razor cutter here, so I'm just kind of opening her up. And inside, you've got a couple things. You've got the uh, controller with some batteries and some screws. Uh, you also have two feet that go on the bottom of the TV that basically stand it up. And some directions. And, of course, a lot of styrofoam. <laughs> All right, so once you get everything out of the plastic, this is what comes with it. You get two feet, you get a controller, two battery screws, the screwdriver doesn't come with it, and directions, we don't need those. All right, next we're going to pull the body out of the box. You need a nice soft place to put it. You want to make sure that the screen is facing up. Make sure you pull it out and put the back on your nice flat bed or whatever. And here I'm just going to go ahead and rip this open, pull it off, and um, there's some adhesive that's on the sides, and we got to get that off too. And it comes off pretty easy. You just got to get your thumbnail on it. Try not to scratch your screen when you're doing it because um, you don't want to screw up the TV on the first day that you got it. And uh, see here, I'm having a hard time getting that side off. And then this uh, spe specific TV supposedly will only burn $8 worth of electricity in a year. So that's it. That's what comes in the box. Now all we got to do is put it together. The TV comes with these two feet or legs here, the controller, some uh, batteries, and then there's four screws, two for each leg, and I've got a Phillips head screwdriver to attach them. All right, next we're going to pull the body out of the box. You need a nice soft place to put it. You want to make sure that the screen is facing up. Make sure you pull it out and put the back on your nice flat bed or whatever. All right, attaching the legs is not too hard. There's two little spots there, and it doesn't matter which way you put them in. They're just going to screw right in. So we've got two screws for each one of the legs or feet or whatever you want to call them. And you can see we've just got to get them in the little hole there and then tighten them down. And bam, Bob's your uncle. There's the one on the left side. Now we just got to do the one on the right. And it's the exact same thing. Just push it in there, get your screw in, tighten her down nice and tight. And so you've got four total screws to put in. Not too hard, pretty simple. And bam, there you go. Now look at your TV. Looks fantastic. All right, next step is we got to get these. These are AAA batteries and they, and they come with it, so they, hopefully they're good in charge. We're going to come here and you're just going to push this. You see how it moves? It's got a little arrow on it. And watch, it just opens up. And it basically tells you there's negative, there's positive, there's negative, there's positive, AAA. So you know what to do. You get the, the negative side is the flat side. You push it in, bam. Same thing in this one. Bob's your uncle, ready to go. Now to put it back together, this side here is going to go in there. Here, let me show you. Get it right in there like that. And I'm just going to push it down. And bam, that's it. It's ready to go. All right, now we've got to find, aha, uh -huh, under here is where the coaxial goes. You see that? That's where we got to put our coaxial. So we're going to grab our coaxial right here, and we've got to move all this a little bit over. So we've got some, let's move it this way. And then we're going to come over under here. All right, here we go. we got to stick this. See, this, this is coaxial. This is 100-year-old technology. Why are we still using it? I don't know. But let's go ahead and hook it in anyway. we got to get the, that little copper part in first. And then we've got to do a little twist. And, and this nut uh, basically just tightens by itself. So the bottom part doesn't turn. Just the top turns. Just the top turns. So we're just going to screw it on there. And you want to get it pretty tight. You could get some wrench on it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tighten her down with my fingers. should work. If it doesn't, we'll come back and wrench it up. Let's see what's on the front of it. All right, so that's it right there. Bam, done. Let's see what we got. So this does have some cool things on it. The inputs, you know, you can change inputs, and those are, you know, the, the uh, different uh, little plugins back there, like we did that coaxial cable. But there's also some HDMI ports back there, which you can check out if you had, like, let's say, an, a DVD player hooked up or something like that. But getting back to this again, it's got a home button on it. It's got the watch for free button, info button, Tubi button. It's got Heart Radio. It's got Pluto, Disney, Netflix, and Prime. Those are the most you know ones that everybody uses. There's a power button there. There's your input. This is your navigation system here. Um, you've got a back button. You got your volume up and down channel buttons, and um, and then of course you can plug these in and you can mute it or you can uh, unmute it here. So that's pretty much it on that. I mean it's not that complicated. And the CC button. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think maybe you can talk to it. We'll have to check that out and see. But this is a Vizio. And as you can see, Vizios are getting even more, um, more consolidated as they go through their iterations of their TVs. Oh, and this is settings here. That's the settings button. That's a universal sign for settings. You know, it's like a gear. Choose your language. Choose whether it's home or business by pressing the OK button on the remote. Then you're going to choose your country, USA. And then you got to pick your network. And we're going to slide over to Denise. We're going to click on that. 
And then what that's going to do, it's going to ask us for our password. We have to put the password in. And then it's going to connect with our Wi-Fi network. From there, it will download the information for the firmware and the update for the TV. You're going to have to update the TV, so it's going to take a while. And uh, it's about 10 minutes. Once it's updated, it's going to ask you to put in your you know, your email and a bunch of uh, information because they want to scrape as much data as possible from you. All right, I've sped up this download process about four to 500 times. This takes at least 15 minutes and then your TV is going to restart. And once it restarts, you're going to have to fill out a bunch of other information that they want. So we're going to go over that in just a second. Now it's going to ask you where the TV is located. It's in the master bedroom, so it's going to be called Master TV. All right, next they're going to want you to OK the terms and conditions. you got to hit OK on the remote. Then it's going to do, want to get viewing data. They want you to hit OK there. Activity data, they want that accepted. And then they want you to register it. Now, you could skip this, but we're going to go ahead and register it. We're going to put our email in there. And then once we're done, we're going to go ahead and click OK on that. And then it's going to ask us to put a name in. You don't have to. You can skip it. But we're going to go ahead and put our name in. And we're going to put in our zip code. And now it's checking for the network. And you may find that this thing um, has some glitches on it. And we found that out when we were doing this. And we had to reestablish our Wi-Fi connection by going into the settings, into the network, and then reloading up uh, the Wi-Fi network with a password. And you're going to see that in a second. Right there it says smart casting. We're not available. All right, so now using the remote control, I've got to click on the settings button, which is that little circular gear button there. And then I'm going to uh, navigate down to network. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to go to Denise's network, and then i got to put the password in again. And this is what you may have to do. So bam, there we are. Now we're on uh, SmartCast. It opened right up as soon as we did that. And we can reconnect at the Wi-Fi. Now if you want to get down to your uh, antenna, you got to navigate with the remote and get there and you click on it. And then it'll open up whatever provider you've got, Xfinity, AT&T, you know, whatever you use. And that'll, you know, go to that box and then you got to use their remote to get to the different channels. Yeah, see, that's the Scientific American box from about 1932. It's so old. Xfinity sucks. All right, and that's it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff like this. Peace out.